what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead <gasps> next to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. He saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Machandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this. The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor. Or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Only one thing to do. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Stop him! Stop Shay! Oh. 
That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles... I cannot! I will not let this happen again. All those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is barry <laughs> you've been ill for weeks I, I hate to have been a burden see he's a civilized fella i for a clumsy deckhand probably fell off his ship half drunk Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Ah! Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Prepare for a threat! <laughs> Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Uh, uh, what is this shit? Uh,
shot. Too fast. I have got a good line on him.
That will help with smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. How so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac.